Hey folks, this is John Miller, Executive Editor with WB News. We would like to welcome you to Ask the Experts, featuring John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John is the founder, owner, and certified wealth strategist at Beacon Wealth Management. You can find out more at bwmwb.com. And now live from the studios of the Exponent Telegram in Clarksburg, West Virginia, let's Ask the Expert. Welcome to Ask the Expert with John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John, as people get older, I think they are thinking about, you know, how do they move their wealth around without facing tax consequences? What, what are your thoughts? What's some good ideas? Oh, absolutely. I mean, tax consequences are big because, I mean, think about it. It's about net sum, you know, because it doesn't matter how much you have. It's how much you keep. And so, absolutely, uh, tax planning and, of course, wealth transfer is a big deal right now. You know, a lot of people don't realize that thanks to SECURE Act 2, the beneficiary IRA now is completely different. And what I mean about that is prior to this year, if your parents, if you inherited, let's say, a million dollars from your parents, you could keep that money in a beneficiary IRA, and all you had to do was take RMD out. Well, now, instead of keeping it, you have to fully liquidate it within a 10-year period. And so what that basically means is whether you realize it or not, you got a tax hike because of inheritance, you know. That's, you know, a lot of people get confused when, because they don't look at themselves as being that wealthy. But it, it, it's rather low threshold when you talk about investments that you're inheriting from your oh, parents, grandparents, whatever the case may be. You can get hit with tax consequences pretty absolutely. quick. What people don't realize is if you get an IRA, Okay, that money's never been taxed before because your parents got a tax deduction to put that money in there. And when they take it out, that's when it's taxed as ordinary income. Well, it used to be, again, that when you inherited that money, you could keep it in there and only take a small portion out for the rest of your life. And you basically could keep that sum in there. And so it continued to tax defer. But now the IRS says no way. We need taxes, so the easiest way to do it is mandate that you have 10 years to fully liquidate it. So that means now, instead of just waiting, that counts as taxable income to you. So let's say you happen to be a person making $100,000 a year, and you got this inheritance, well, any distribution counts as additional income. So not only is that a higher tax bracket on the potential inheritance, but it could also put you in a higher tax bracket on your regular ordinary income. Is there a way to avoid that? Yes. You know what? Parents got to think about wealth transfer. You know, as a simple example, let's say somebody has money and they do not plan on using it as income from themselves and they're wanting to potentially just pass it on to their children in the most tax advantageous way. Well, one of the things they can look at is they can look at doing a Roth conversion. And what that basically means is they take their IRA and they convert portions of it over and pay the taxes now. Then it goes into a Roth IRA account. Well, the beauty of the Roth IRA over the regular IRA is a Roth IRA, based on current law, is 100% tax-free inheritance. Whereas IRA, it's a taxable inheritance. You know, when I say taxable, not an inheritance tax, but, the, but when you cash out the IRA, it counts as taxable income. You know, I think we've discussed this before, too. Uh, uh, parents have to be aware of it. It ch- their p- children, anybody that could be inheriting some sums of money. I mean, the chances are taxes probably aren't going to be going down in oh. our children's <laughs> future, okay? No. I mean, well, I mean, think about it. $35 trillion, $35 trillion of debt. I mean, what choice do we have at this point? And so what we know is, from a political standpoint, they're not going to try to just go and raise our income taxes because you can vote against it. They can slide things in the back door like this right here. And inherit, I mean, a tax, you know, changing the way we inherit our IRAs. People don't even know. I mean, I've mentioned this all year, and I asked the question, how many of you knew that you got an indirect tax hike? And so they don't know that. But the best thing to do is you got to be thinking wealth transfer strategies. Because if you have qualified money, whether it's 401k, simple IRA, IRA, money that's never been taxed, essentially you are creating a tax bomb. And I say tax bomb because whether you pay the taxes prior to your death or your children inherit it, somebody's going to pay the taxes eventually. And you have more control now and you can do things that they can't do after the fact. And again, chances are you're going to be paying less now 
then your children wear yes. it will 10, 15, 20 years down yes. the road. Yes, and let me give you a good strategy, a good strategy that we use. So a lot of times we have people who say to me, hey, look, I got whatever amount of money, and there's an RMD, and they say, well, I don't need that money, John, but I'm going to have to take it out. And I'll say to them, if you are healthy and you want to take that out, okay, and you can qualify for life insurance, what I tell people is use that premium, pay the taxes on your IRA, use that premium to purchase a life insurance policy. Now, why would you want to do that? Because life insurance is tax free. So a lot of times, of course, it depends on the age, depends on the health, depends on a lot of factors. But a lot of times somebody with, let's say, a $500,000 IRA could take out $15,000 a year. Well, they weren't using it to fund their lifestyle. Well, they can use that and now purchase an additional $500,000 of life insurance. Now, instead of that being taxable or without control, now when their children get it, that's 100% tax-free. It's 100% probate-free. And if they add an accelerated benefits rider to it, it may also help them protect them from nursing home costs. And so it's a great way to do uh, tax planning strategies or wealth transfer strategies prior to your death while you're still healthy. Again, we always like to emphasize, I mean, it's really important that somebody interested in this should contact you. You'll sit down and game plan with them something that's geared to their individual needs and their family's needs. Yeah, because... It all starts with an understanding. You know, everyone's going to be unique. You know, somebody who needs their income may not be able to make this choice. Because if you have 500000 and you need that income, well, you can't allocate this towards this type of thing. But for somebody who says, hey, look, inheritance is an important thing to me. Tax reduction is important to me. And I want to be able to do this in the most efficient way. Then absolutely, this is an option. But if you have another situation and your circumstances are totally different, we're going to always customize the strategy to that unique individual and has nothing to do with, with selling a product or thinking that there's one solution for every single person. It's definitely going to be unique and customized to that individual client. I can't emphasize enough the importance that, you know, sitting down and talking with an expert and and letting them guide you in this process is so valuable and important. You see all these advertisements about buying gold or buying this (laughs) or buying this, you know, annuity or whatever the case may be. You sit down with people and really give them strong guidance. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and I always tell people, imagine that if you went to a doctor and a doctor did nothing to diagnose you, but then they said, hey, look, here's your prescription. Well, you would be so upset. You would say it's fraud. But see, it happens all the time is people come at you with products, and they talk about how great the product is. But the product is just a byproduct of the solution that you need. you got to first figure out what what it is that you want to accomplish, why you're not able to accomplish it, and then let's figure out the strategy that's customized and right for you. Yeah, always a wealth of information here with John Halterman of Beacon Wealth Management. John, some parting words? You know what? You said it earlier. It's you got to you got to take action now. I mean, there's one thing I always tell people, you know, I had a client who kept telling me she needed to do some estate planning. Unfortunately, she died walking with her granddaughter through the mall around the Christmas season and she never got it done. And that's what we see all the time is that you can't change anything after the fact, but you do it now. You can make a potentially a huge difference in the impact you leave on your children, the legacy you leave behind. Again, thanks for joining us, John. John Halterman of Beacon Wealth Management. Until the next time.